How you doing? Nope. My name's not Michael. I'm the lawnmower lady, and I like fixing small engines. Today's short video is one in a series of maintenance tips, basic maintenance procedures on a Briggs & Stratton E-Series engine. This little video is going to be how to clean and gap a spark plug. Follow along. This particular mower uses a 5 8 inch spark plug socket or a 16 millimeter and these are two specialized spark plug sockets. One of them has a rubber boot in there and that will help uh, prevent you from breaking off the ceramic part. This one has a magnetic. Um, I have preferred the magnetic ones because sometimes the rubber boot actually gets stuck on the ceramic and it's hard to get off. But put that on there, make sure it's good and tight. And with our wrench, loosen that up. Shouldn't be too tight. And then we're going to have a look at the spark plug. All right, as you can see, this spark plug is really shiny. Um, I think that's gasoline. Might have been gasoline from it being on its side. We can confirm that. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of gasoline coming out of there, but it doesn't look like oil. And this particular spark plug actually looks pretty good. Um, if you want to clean these up, you can use like a um, a brush, a nylon brush, but you want to make sure you don't leave any filings or anything inside that plug but I think this plugs all right okay this spark plug really wasn't too bad I did uh, brush it up just a little bit with a little uh, soft wire brush uh, made sure it didn't get any in there what you're looking for is if it's all black if it's all sooty or if it's all bright white in there uh, those are problems but then the next thing you want to do is check the gap on your plug you can use uh, this little tool spark plug gapper you see it has a um, sort of a really thin edge and as it goes around and around it gets thicker and thicker um, or you can use a set of feeler gauges, okay? Uh, and they're all varying thicknesses, but the one we want is uh, 0 0.030 inches or 0.75 millimeters. That's pretty standard on most um, these small engines uh, spark plugs. Uh, the way this one works is you run it up there and see where it stops, and see it stops at about 030 inches, all right? Um, and if it's too tight or too small, you can, you know, push it further in to open it up. If you get it too big or too small, you can put this end of the tool in it and sort of like raise up on it. Um, if it's too big, you can like tap it on a piece of wood, something like that. But anyway, this is how you gap the plug. Uh, I just took the feeler gauge out completely because I always use the same size. And what you're looking for is it just wants to be snug. It wants to fit in there between the two electrodes and you want to make sure there's no gunk in there. And if you don't have any feeler gauges or you don't want to go get one of these little guys from the auto parts store, a Stanley knife, the thick part of a Stanley knife blade is 0 .030 inches. Put that in there, perfect. Okay, so now that our spark plug is clean and gapped, we're gonna put it back in, the threaded hole in there. You always want to start it by hand. Don't ever use a tool and make sure it's threading on, all right? And you want to go all the way in by hand until it bottoms out. And then you want to put your spark plug wrench on there. Make sure it's bottomed out and then go no more than a quarter of a turn. And that spark plug is good to go. Be sure and put the boot back on because as soon as we check the air filter and the carb, we'll be firing this up. All right, so there you have it. That's how I clean and gap a spark plug on this Briggs & Stratton E-Series engine. If you liked it and you learned something, please push the like and subscribe button, and I can make more of these videos. Remember, I'm the lawnmower lady, and as I like to say, mo happy. Thanks for watching.